Welcome back to the Civic Side TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Krause, bringing you the latest breakthroughs in the world of civic science. Science and Solidarity, Stories of Community Leaders in Puerto Rico was recently published by Ciencia Puerto Rico. The digital book highlights the stories of 11 leaders who use science to address the needs of their communities. The leaders participated in Aquí Nos Cuidamos, a community and multimedia project on well-being, and the Community Science Laboratory, part of the Public Engagement and Science Program of Ciencia Puerto Rico. It is available online for free in Spanish, and check it out at the link in the description below to follow them on social media. Here is a quote from the book. Being part of a que nos cuidamos has helped me to continue educating myself, to see the importance of educating myself in all branches of different types of science, mental health, laws, biological, and even spiritual. Senora Faustina Rodriguez, who is a participant in Aquinos Cuidamos and director of the Ferran Mimputa Diamante Service Center. We have talked on the show before about using art and science in communicating climate change, but now there's even more research breaking down how interdisciplinary reasoning works. Interdisciplinary reasoning can help participates navigate unpredictable patterns and situations and overcome blind spots. They foster a deeper understanding of different ways of knowing and sustainability problems in the context of climate change. The aesthetic experiences of art and science collaborations can raise awareness of climate change and sustainability actions. Thanks to the SciComer newsletter for sharing this research. Science news websites aren't practicing what they preach. There seems to be a gap between the best practices of science communication and what science news websites actually do, according to the researchers. The two-way dialogue model of communication, where information is seen as an exchange more than just sharing information, it's not being prioritized. Although readers are allowed to comment on news websites. Researchers argue that there needs to be more dedication to engaging readers with meaningful discussions and arguments by facilitating a dialogue in addition to just providing the news. So leave a comment below and let's get some dialogue going on this research. Thank you so much for checking out the latest episode of the Civic Sci TV News Show. We hope to see you next time.